All right, Shalom. Um, we're the brothers from the Jim Messina Church back with another lesson through the Spirit. Before we get started, want to call praise the Lord and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Rakhakadash. Double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. And we want to say peace, love, and much blessing to the occupant across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity and putting the life on the line to do so. I'm the brother of Rock, got the brother Yaqua with me. Like I stated earlier, we're from the uh, branch here in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, GMS. Um, and we're just going to get into it. Listen, man. Tom, this is uh, 1 Corinthians, the ninth chapter, the 24th verse. And it reads, Now ye, like it, know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receive of the price? So run that ye may obtain. Mm -hmm. And every man that striveth for the mastery is tempering in all things. And that's what we're seeking. That we're seeking the mastery and this thing of ours. And temperance is what? Meaning balance. Mm -hmm. You know, Apostle Gabar uh, always notes that the key to wisdom is balance. Mm -hmm. All right? It says, um, now they do it to obtain. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, mm -hmm. but we an incorruptible. Yeah, and if I can go back to what you're saying, because you went into the word temperate, meaning balanced, and you have to run a balanced and steady rate uh, pace, man, in a race. You know, because those that um, overexert themselves or, or, or uh, run too swiftly, you know, they burn out. Uh, because this is a race of uh, endurance, man. It's not a. It's not um, giving them to the swift. Okay, and when also running, you're running with the mindset of obtaining something. Okay, you're not doing it in vain. All right, our, uh, our works are not in vain. And if you are doing it for you know anything outside of you know salvation, you know if it's if it's a carnal reason why you're doing it, all right, you're in the wrong spirit. That's right. Okay, you know, like your brother said, if you're doing it for any other reason, other then the the reasoning of salvation, you you're not going to obtain salvation. That's right. You no, know, uh, uh, the Lord's dealing with those of a contrite spirit, mm -hmm. a broken spirit. Why? Because with a broken spirit, He can build you back up. Mm -hmm. But as the Scripture says, um, uh, pride, um, excuse me, knowledge puff it up, mm -hmm. but it's charity to edify. So we have to be grounded in love, as it says in the Book of Ephesians, the third chapter. You know, yeah, yeah you had something. Um, uh, I'm grabbing. You keep going. Okay. Um, or did you have uh, a precept? Put another precept. Go ahead, bro. Okay. This is um Second Ezra, chapter seven, verse forty-nine, and it reads, "For what profit is it unto us, if there be promised us an immortal time, whereas we have done the works that bring death?" Mm -hmm. Verse fifty, and that there is promised us an everlasting hope. Whereas ourselves being most wicked are made vain. Mm -hmm. So the Lord, he's, he's promised and he's created from the beginning an everlasting kingdom of, of ages that are without end. But how is that going to profit us if we don't do have the works and the faith to uh, accumulate success, man? Mm -hmm. You know? It, it, it won't, you know. But uh, it it won't you you won't uh, <laughs> you won't um it th that shit threw me off. But uh, reread reread that God. last part. Second Ezra chapter seven verse forty nine. What I'm gonna start at verse fifty. It says, "In that there is promised us an everlasting hope, mm -hmm. whereas ourselves being made wicked, so like you are." Whereas ourselves being most wicked are made vain. Mm -hmm. Promising us an everlasting hope, man, that goes back into faith. All right. Um, like like um, Hebrews 11 and 1 says, you know, faith is the substance of things hoped for. All right. The things not seen. So you may not be able to tangibly touch, you know, the things in which we're striving for. But we know that it's there because it's promised to us in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. And in knowing that we're running a race with a goal in mind. Okay. And having hope and having faith, all right, being the foundation of, you know, the, the reason in which we do the things that we do. But if you have a shabby foundation, you know, whatever you're seeking to build on uh, going forth from your foundation is not going to stand. All right. Like it speaks of in Matthew, um, you know, the house built on uh, uh, sand, yeah. you know, it, it, it falls down. OK, roughly uh, paraphrasing. Right, right. All right. But I. Uh, uh, um, 
house built on the stone, you know, can withstand the wind. Right. All right. And that foundation, if I may, you know, the brothers, he's um he's harping on the importance of having a solid and a legitimate foundation. Mm -hmm. And um I believe that's in the book of Eph uh let me see, Ephesians. I need to actually go into the Greek to give the proper edification real quick. Because Ephesians chapter 3 was the, the brothers who actually did a lesson. Let me see. Yeah, man, you can't be out here just going through the motions, man. Right, that's it. Yeah. That's it. Because it's, it's vanity, okay? You just doing shit just because you think it's. Or, or you think it looks good or you think it's the right thing to do but you don't have the end game you know in mind and and having that be the fuel to the fire and why you're doing the things that you're doing all right all right you got it yeah kind um the brother was harping on um foundation and actually it's a uh, that's what the word grounded means in in the greek i'm going to read the scripture it's ephesians chapter 3 verse 17 it says that mashiach may dwell in your hearts by faith that ye being rooted and grounded in love, all right? When you go to that word grounded, all right, in the Greek, um, it's a themelios, the it's like a th um, themelio, uh, let's see here. Strong's G 2311, themeliao. Themeliao, excuse Temeliao. me. Which means to lay the foundation, to found, to make, to, to make stable, established. And when you go also deeper into that uh, meaning of grounded and foundation, it's also dealing with integrity. Mm. You know, like if a building dealing with uh, the, the, a building that's strong and sturdy, it has uh, the integrity of the building, the foundation, mm -hmm. all right? The, the cornerstone yep. and those, the, the bricks that are aligned with the cornerstone are, are, are legitimate and they're sturdy mm -hmm. and, they, and, they, and they, they won't fail in the time of a storm, that's right. you know? And that's us being being tried. And if you're not sincere in this thing, when you're tried, it, it's gonna it's gonna prove that you're not made of gold, but um, but rubbish. Mm -hmm. You know, you're gonna burn up because uh, the scriptures tell you uh, that uh, and and uh, Sirach two uh, that uh, acceptable man being tried in the uh, in the fiery adversity. Matter of fact. You can grab it real quick. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to butcher the scripture. Yeah, it's best to go ahead and you know let the scripture speak. Yeah. You know. I think it's like what two and ten maybe. All right. Two and uh, yeah. Two and uh, what were you saying again? Uh, oh no. Acceptable men being tried. Yeah. In verse the first, verse in the five. Um, um. This is the book of Sirach, chapter two. The fifth verse. Okay. For gold is tried in the fire, mm -hmm. an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. Yeah, that's your integrity being tried, man. All right. Your foundation that you built on. Because uh, there's a quote that says, um, a, a man's true character is who he is when faced with adversity. Okay. So that's, that's the integrity of the sole foundation of what you built on. All right. When, when it, when, uh, Things are not easily uh, accessible, you know. Uh, when 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 shit is not going your way, when you're being tried, that's just the Lord's way of seeing, uh, you know, what what your integrity is, man. He's testing your integrity. You being tried, you know, in the face of adversity. Okay. I see that. Yeah, that was it on. It. That's it, kind of. Yeah, you can go back to what you. Um. What yeah, you, I was done with that. We can okay. go to uh, John, the twelfth chapter. Kind of. You know, the Satan keep, I mean, you know, you brothers understand what's going on. The spiritual demon Satan, how he's operating. We brothers tried to do this video earlier. Mm -hmm. Phone shut off, phone falling. All wow, type of demons. Yeah, trying to prevent us from doing the work. Mm -hmm. um, this is um, John, the 12th chapter, start at the 42nd verse. It's, and it reads, Nevertheless, among the chief rulers also many believed on him but because of the Pharisees they did not confess him lest they should be put out of the synagogue mm -hmm. and spe that's, speaking on, that's speaking about believing on Yahweh Shah verse 43 for they love the praise of man more than the praise of God mm -hmm. alright and you know that's, that's going to be the detriment for a lot of you um, you, you gentlemen man 
Mm -hmm. All right, because you you seek the praise of man, vain glory, you know the woman, um, you know the uh, rudiments and the constituents that make up this society, rather than the uh, the spiritual society which is to come, which will be manifested in the physical realm. That's right. You know. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see if there's anything more on that. Um, I'm gonna read verse 44. It says, Yahweh Shah cried and said. He that believeth on me believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. You know, and that's the importance as the brother was speaking about earlier, the importance of faith. And when you believe, people say they believe on you, how shall but do you actually your your true belief is going to be shown through your works, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. Because the scripture tell you uh, that many uh confess with their lips, you know, uh to to love the Lord, but their hearts or their minds are far from him. Right. You know, and we see that on a day-to-day -day basis, all right? Because uh, in all actuality, these people have a false sense of what the Lord really is, man, and, and what his uh, his main goal is, you know, and that salvation is only for the nation of Israel, man. All right. Okay? Man, this thing is right. active, man. Right. But, um, yeah. You had another precept. It kind of had something coming in there. It's yeah. uh, First Corinthians chapter 15, starting at verse 50. It says, now this I say, brethren, and, uh, you know, going back to that previous precept, you know, the, the, the praise, the, seeking the praise of man. What yeah. is man? Man is mortal. Yeah. Man is flesh and blood, mm -hmm. you know? But the scripture says, verse 50 of the uh, Corinthians, the, the um, 15th chapter, it says, now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. That's right. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. All right. So, you know, the point of that is, um, you know, flesh and blood, you know, you know, flesh and blood is not going to be able to inherit this kingdom, man. And along with flesh and blood is the rudiments of this society. That's right. You know, okay. and um, I got one precept. We probably can close out on it okay. um, because. You know, at the end of the day, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and bring it out and then, you know, elaborate on okay. the scripture. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Romans 14 and verse 5. It says, one man esteem of one day above another, another esteeming to every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. And if you're fully persuaded in your own mind, all right, you won't be going through the motions. Because you'll be persuaded that at the end of this race that, that you're running, there's actually going to be a reward for it. Okay? And you're, you're fully persuaded, so you're not going to be doing it to seek a uh, 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 vain glory of men. Okay? You, you're doing it because you're persuaded that if you do X, Y, and Z that the scriptures commanded you to do, you know, that you'll receive that penny at the end, man. All right? But that comes with being fully persuaded. That's if you're right. not fully persuaded and you're in this thing for all of the wrong reasons, all right, it's going to show. You're not going to finish the race. All right? Mm. You're going to burn out or you're just going to quit. You're going to say, fuck it, yeah. all right? Because you're not persuaded that if you continue this race and reach the end, that there's a crown at the end for you, and salvation is at the end for you because you weren't persuaded of it, all right? But in, in contrary to somebody that is persuaded and that's fully, it says fully, not partially, maybe it is, you know, maybe they, yeah. you know, you, you kind of straddle in the fence, you know. No, you have to be fully persuaded because right. let's say, you know, if I... If I'm fully persuaded that if I walk two blocks and make a left, that there's a million dollars waiting on me. I'm going to do that shit. Mm -hmm. Okay? But if I'm now, I'm like, man, ain't no goddamn million dollars around there. All right. Fuck that. I'm finna go three blocks and make a left. Yeah. Maybe four or five and then, you know, or I ain't going to do it, period, man. That's too good to be true. Salvation is only for the nation of Israel. No, man. Everybody can make it. You know, you just start being, you know, wishy-washy. And not keeping the uh, the full goal, or the or the uh, or having that tunnel vision that at the end of the day you're gonna have the prize, man. All right. That's right, dog. Uh, mm -hmm. You had anything else? Nah, it, you basically summed it up, man. Having that tunnel vision. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of man. It's a lot of distractions out here, man. Right. A lot of distractions that can can have you completely decimated by a missile. That's right. Is is it worth it? Right. That's the question that you have to answer yourself, man, through your works, through your mm -hmm. faith, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because 
in these flesh in, in these um, chains of darkness that we're in, man, it's easy to go off. We were speaking on that too, mm -hmm. um, a little earlier before camp. Like all this shit that if 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 we pan the camera around, man, <laughs> and you guys see what's going on out here, yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. you know, if if we want a fully persuaded, you know, and, and on that straight and narrow, hey man, we'll cut the goddamn camera off and go see what's popping, yeah. okay? Mm. But you know, through the spirit of the Lord. You know he's keeping us away from that you know and we're sitting here doing the work okay yeah. in order i mean in, in in hopes of you know this being you know a one step closer right and building up our spiritual uh bank account that when the lord does come back we can present it to him and it's sufficient enough man that we be saved yeah okay so with that being said you know Lord willing, it was edifying, giving all praise, glory, honor to yeah by shim yeah was shot by shim with Double honors to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom. Shalom.